Welcome to the fitness flow class airing on the side of flow. Um, we're going to be practicing together today for about half an hour or so. Uh, the music will kind of guide us through the practice today in a way. It's going to help us um, because it, it, it will kind of arc in a way and then bring us down a little bit. Um, hey, welcome Carol G. Good to have two Carols in class today. Woo! Double the Carol, double the good. Um, so let's move over to the yoga mat and let's, let's start. That. And yeah, come over to your mat into tabletop position. We're going to start on the hands and knees. Once you're down in, uh, in that position on the hands and knees, we'll warm up through cat cow and then bird dog. So inhale, open up the heart, look forwards. Exhale, round the spine, look down. Inhale, open up the heart, look forwards. Exhale, round the spine, look down. And again, inhale, open it. Exhale, rounding. Come back to neutral spine, inhale. Root down through the palms, or you can use the fists if the wrists get a bit tiresome. Let's kick the right leg back behind us. Reach the left arm forwards, and then hug the elbow knee together. Inhale, apart. Exhale, together. Inhale, apart. Exhale, together. Let's do three more like that. And come back to neutral and opposite side. So left leg kicks back, right arm reaches forwards. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, hug together. Inhale, apart. Exhale, together. Inhale, apart. And in. Two more. Last one. And in. Awesome. Let's bring ourselves back to hands and knees. Curl the toes under, lift the hips up to downward facing dog. Lift both heels up, take a breath in. Bend both your knees, exhale, walk to the top. Hands to shins, inhale, lengthen and lift the spine forwards. And exhale forward, fold down to the feet. Another halfway lift, just the same thing we did. Halfway lift, hands to shins, inhale. And exhale forward, fold. Reach the feet, uh, arms up, root through the feet. I almost said reach the feet up for some reason. Take your hands to your heart center. Let's reach up again, breathe in. Exhale, dive down to the floor. Hands to shin bones, inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale, let's bring the fingertips down and let's step just the right leg back. Once the right leg steps back, let's lift our arms up to crescent lunge, rising up. And then reaching back to runner's lunge, arms sweep back next to the hips. Again, arms up. Arms back. One more, arms up. Arms down to the floor. Step back to plank. Step the right foot forwards. Reach up with the arms, inhale. Exhale, sweep the arms back next to the hips. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, sweep it back. Inhale, up again. Sweep it back. Next time we'll bring the hands to the floor. Let's reach the arms up last time. And bring the hands down to the ground. Let's step back to plank. Take a full breath in the nose. And just go back to downward dog. Push up through the hips and shift the bum up into the air. Let's lift both heels up, breathe in. Exhale, bend both knees, walk to the top. Hands to shin bones, inhale, length, lift, rise up a bit, and then exhale, fold forwards, touch the floor. Reach the arms up, spread up, tall, palms together, hands to heart center, exhale. All right, from the standing position, let's step the right leg back again. We're gonna heel toe back, put the right leg into our warrior two stance, opening up the arms, reaching apart. 
Let's lunge that front knee over top the front of the ankle. We're gonna try a transition that will get us into a lunging action. So first off, I just want you to shorten the stance a little bit so you're not quite as far in your warrior two. Bring your back foot in a bit. Now let's reach the arms up and the heel up. Back heel lifts up, turn to face forwards like the last position we were in. And we're gonna dip the knee down to the floor and back up. Awesome, let's do five of those. Down, inhale, exhale, stand up. Inhale down, exhale up. Two more. Legs are both straightening at the top. Last one. Go back to warrior two, open up the arms and lunge it forwards. Let's bring it to flow. Inhale, left arm up, right arm back. Exhale, windmill both hands down to frame your left foot. Step it back, plank, lower down, chaturanga. Baby cobra or up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Step your right foot forwards. Rise up, pivot back to warrior two. Now that we're in warrior two, warrior two lunging the right knee over the ankle, reaching the arms apart. Take a full breath in. Calm the breath out. Let's lift the back heel up, lift the arms up, coming back into our crescent lunge, facing forwards through the hips and shoulders. And you can always shorten your stance just a little bit if uh, that lunge was challenging last time. Let's dip the knee down and up. Straighten legs. Down, five, and up. Down, four, and up. Down, and up. Two. Last one. Pivot back with the foot, open up warrior two. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, windmill down, hands to frame the foot. Step back to plank. Take a breath in the nose. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog, baby cobra is your choice. Downward facing dog. Hips are back up. Take a nice breath in. And out. Watch the top of the yoga mat. Hands to shins, inhale. Exhale, stand up. Step the feet about hip width apart. We're just gonna do a small amount of squats today. I know a lot of the other fitness classes have lots of squats in them, so you can go there if you need more. So let's do about just 15 or 20 squats. We'll count down from whatever number you choose. Here we go. Down and up. If you lose count, don't worry. I'm remembering I'm at about eight right now myself. Three more. If you have lost count, last two. Last one. And all the way back up. Nice work. Bring the feet to your heel raised position, so about under the hips. And let's lift the heels up. Rising up, stay up tall. You can balance with the arms if you need to. Then we're gonna lower the heels up and down times five. Up and down. Holding at the top for just a little bit longer than usual. Four, down and up. Three, down and up. Two, up. One, up. And all the way down, relax the arms. Face forwards, breathe in, reach up. Dive down, breathe out. Fingertip touch the floor in front of the toes, hands to shins, next folks, inhale. Exhale, palms to the floor, step back to plank. Let's take a nice breath in. And then into side plank, left side. Left palm takes the weight, right palm reaches up. Other side. These are optional. You can always just take a rest for a moment. We're just here for a very small moment. Back to plank. Take a full breath in. Exhale, chaturanga or knees down. 
and then the chest and belly down simultaneously. Maybe cobra lift your heart up, or upward dog, lift the chest up, and then back to downward facing dog, lifting through ribs. Walk up to the top of the mat, hands to shin bones, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, forward fold. Reach your arms up tall, breathe in. Hands behind head, breathe out. Feet hip width apart, inhale, hinge forwards, butt back. Good mornings times 10. Exhale up, nine, and up, eight. Press the head back into the hands to keep the posterior chain of muscles active to support this movement. We don't want to slump in the spine. So we're pressing the head back, keeping the spine long. You hit the last three, and up, two, and up, one. All right, let's do a little bit of arm work before we go back to flow. So grab your rubber loop between hands. Let's pull it apart, 12. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three more, two, and one. Holding the band, same position, reaching up, up, extending, and back down. One, and two, Reaching up, three, arms back, reaching up, four, arms back, reaching up, four, five, four, and for eight, three more. Put that band off to the side, reach up all the way with both arms as you kind of feel floaty. Exhale, dive down to the floor. And shins, inhale, lengthening the spine. And exhale, back to the flow. Palms to the floor, step back to the floor. Take a breath in. Exhale, chaturanga. We inhale, upward dog, lifting the chest and heart. Exhale, back it up, down dog, hips up in the air. Pressing through the palms, pressing forwards through both fingers and thumbs rooting and lifting. Let's inhale and extend the right leg up, breathe in. Exhale, right knee to nose. Inhale, right leg up, extending the leg. Exhale, right knee to right elbow. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, knee to opposite elbow. Inhale up, and then just go back to down dog. Let's do that on the left side, kick. Left leg up, breathe in. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, leg up. Exhale, knee to left elbow. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, knee to right elbow. Inhale, left leg up last time. Exhale, downward dog. Nice work. Let's lower those knees down to the floor. From this hand and knee position, we're gonna walk our knees back a little bit. So we're in plank position on the palms and knees. Take a deep breath in. And out, bracing through the abdomen. I want you to hug the hands and knees towards each other. So feeling that pretend lift. I don't want you to actually move them, but just feel as if you're hugging them closer together and feel the abdomen engaging. Five, four, three, two, and one. Let's relax back. Just sitting into the heels for a second. Next, we're gonna go to dolphin plank. We're gonna bring our elbows down on the floor and interlace our hands in this position. Let's go there. Bring those elbows down. Interlace the palms. Step the knees back. All right, I want you to stay on the knees for now because I want you to focus on the shoulder muscles instead of the abdomen so much. So let's press down with the elbows. And I want, to, I want you to feel the rounding or slight doming of the mid-upper spine. 
If you're confused by that instruction, I want you to take a look at the video for a second. Here's what I mean. Shoulders not doing that, dipping down. And then here's that muscle action in action, pressing down, rising up between the mid upper spine. Take a nice breath in. And now bracing the core. And again, inhale. And exhale. Option to curl the toes under and lift to full dolphin plank. No knees on the ground for five, four, three. Oh, I, start, I gotta stop counting, the music stopped. <laughs> Two, one, zero, knees to the floor. Bring the palms down, lift up through the chest. <sighs> we're gonna go into side plank with reach throughs here. It's been a while since you've done this one. So let's go into it. So we're gonna bring the left elbow down, rooting onto the floor. It's parallel with the top edge of our yoga mat. We're gonna bring the knees back in line with the hips. So see how my knees were forwards in front of me before? Now I'm gonna bring the knees back and I'm gonna lift the hips off the floor. So now I'm on my elbow and my left knee. Reach the right arm up, hold. Option to take your hand behind the head and bring the head, elbow to the fist or reach up and then under. And exhale, reach up. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, under. Inhale, up. Exhale, under. Last one, inhale, reach up. And under. All right, palm on the floor. Swap sides. Sorry, just about my mic. You probably heard me go thump. Anyways, my right side is down on the floor, right elbow. And then the hip and knee are in line. Bring your hand onto the hip. And then lift your left hip off the floor. Reach the left arm up. Feel that fatigue in the right side armpit. Beginning. Let's take a breath in. Exhale, reach under the armpit with the left hand. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, reach under. Do more. And under. Do more. Under. Last one. And reach. Bring the palms to the floor. Lay down on the back. We'll finish our harder uh, the work with some abdomen, uh, some engagement work. The hands behind the head, feet can be lifted or rooted down. And I'm gonna prefer them to being flat on the floor because it helps me focus the work into the core. So we are bringing the feet, planting them down. Now let's do a few crunches. We'll shoot for about 10 crunches. Take a breath in. And exhale, lift up. Down, inhale. Nice and slow, nine. Down. Eight. You don't have to lift too high. Down. Seven. Six. Five. Four, three more, you can do this. Three, two more. Last one, lifting up. Nice, relax the head down, put the elbows down next to the hips and extend the arms, relax them. I want you to uh, plant the palms down kind of next to your hips facing down and you're bracing slightly with the abdomen I want you to lift your knees up into the air so the knees are over the hips and we're gonna just slowly lower the feet to the floor very 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 slowly um, four varies and then we're gonna bring uh, all of our attention and awareness to do this so let's take a deep breath in and slowly bringing the feet down. Maybe they're a third of the way, two thirds of the way, bracing with the hands, all the way down, feet on the floor. You'll have the abdomen so involved with lowering the legs there. 
it's its main job is to bring those two areas of the body together. Let's try to do one leg at a time instead of both legs, okay? So the left foot remains on the floor. I want you to lift the right leg up, knee off the floor, or foot off of the floor, knees in the air. And then we're just gonna very slowly bring that right foot down to touch the floor. And it's so slow, that's where the work happens. So graceful, just like the guitar. Halfway down, maybe tapping the toe onto the floor. And returning the whole foot to the floor. Oh, feel how the hip flexor and abdomen are involved in doing that. Let's do that on the left side. So let's just lift the left knee up. The foot doesn't have to do anything. The foot can just dangle near the bum. We're just gonna slowly let that left knee move away from us and uh, until our toe touches the floor, essentially. So slowly moving the knee away. Eventually bringing that foot to the floor. And the foot touches down on the ground. <sighs> So this is slow core work here, but it's really worth doing. Let's try two more. We'll do one on one more on each side. So lifting the right knee up. This time, let's try bending the knee so the foot is kind of in an engaged feeling, um, and we're we're lifting a little bit, and then we're going to bring the foot slowly to the floor for five, four, three, two. One, and touch down, foot and heel on the floor. All right, let's try to the opposite leg, left leg lifts up, 90 degree knee bend, take a deep breath in. And moving the leg away from you for five, four, three, two, one, foot slowly touches the floor, heel and toe. <sighs> Let's bend both of the knees and we're gonna lift up to bridge pose now. So the feet are closer into the bum. We're gonna lift up through the hips, hands are next to the hips, pelvis rising up. You can put the hands next to the hips or onto the belly and allow a few deeper breaths to happen maybe uh, letting the stomach rise into the fingers. Squeeze the buttocks to lift the hips and stretch out the front of the hips, the hip flexors for five, four, three, two, and one, let's relax the hips down to the floor. And let's move into a more relaxed quad stretch called reclining hero, or we can do side-lying dancer's pose. So if you prefer reclining hero, you know it, you just go to the top of the mat, knees apart, toes touching, lean back. I wanna show you side-lying dancer's pose. It's really nice. So left side, lay on the left side, grab onto the right foot with your hand. And then we're just gonna slowly bring that right leg back behind us with the leg and encouragement of the head simultaneously. And if you are in reclining hero, you can just stay there as we swap sides. Let's take two more breaths and then we'll change sides. Inhale. And exhale. Take an inhale. And an exhale. Swap sides. So relax, relaxing the leg and changing the side that you're laying on. Laying on the right hand side, grabbing the left foot with the left hand and then just gently pulling that leg back behind you so that you feel a stretch in the left side quadricep and the hips. 
maybe a little bit of a stretch in the stomach as well, just like dancer's pose. to let go of that leg. Turn to lay on your back. Place the soles of your feet to touch and the knees can open apart for cobbler's pose. If you have blocks, put them underneath your thighs. your hands on your stomach and then feel the breathing let the stomach rise into the palms and then let the palms fall kind of like an ocean tide or a swell rising and swelling up Free to let your arms expand out now, taking the hands off the stomach, finding some more space. And then we're going to extend the legs into Shavasana so you can take those bolsters and put them underneath of the thighs if you're using them. And extend the legs all the way out to final Shavasana. just a few moments did you feel that calmness set in that relaxation in the physical body the arms the legs the torso and the head and if you're not quite yet feeling relaxed Let's take a moment to get there. I want you to feel the hands and the arms and allow them to, almost like they were sink in sinking sand and heavy sand. Remember when you were a little kid at the beach and you'd get somebody to bury your legs in sand? Let's imagine that next, kind of like the legs are getting heavier, getting buried in the sand. Sands around the feet and the ankles. Around the shins and the knees. Around the bum and the hips.
around the stomach and the chest. shoulders and the arms. Softly breathe in the nose, filling up. And softly breathing out the nose or the mouth relaxing. Two more breaths like that, filling up and in a slow and calm way. And emptying in a slow and calm way. Thank you so much for joining class today. It was a pleasure being with you for a little bit of a hybrid kind of mix and match. It's fun for that uh, reason for me. I love this this Thursday, or uh, <laughs> this isn't Thursday, these 30 minute classes for that reason, um, just for the ability to kind of bring that hybrid. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. an awesome day ahead of you and I will see you on Thursday <laughs> when it actually is Thursday <laughs> we're going to be practicing a 30 minute yin practice tomorrow night and who knows there might be a surprise appearance from the guitar maybe you should come and check it out see you uh, tomorrow night <laughs>